Okay, we've got the uh, Lectra back on the lift. And first thing that uh, Samantha needs to do is she needs to wire wheel all this rust off of everything, which is pretty bad. I mean, it's not terrible, it's just surface rust, but uh, it's still quite a lot of work um, to uh, get that surface off. And then once that's all done, she can at least prime, well, rust treat and paint the frame. So that's a big step in the right direction to making it look good and uh, replacing anything that needs to be replaced. See, they put uh, big A arms on here to uh, get the lift. It's a pretty solid car. It's quite nice. You know, obviously when you get into it, you're gonna find things. But overall, you can see it's, uh, it's uh, pretty good. And uh, we're really a big step ahead on this build because somebody already put this on a, uh, a frame. Uh, supposedly this came put on a uh, 77 Chevy Suburban frame. And uh, they actually did a really nice job doing it. So, um, I have to hand it to them. It wasn't bad. Probably need to improve some of the welding here and there. Although uh, most of the welding looks pretty good. Actually, a lot of the welding looks very good. Yeah, I can definitely not fault how they did this. I think they did a really nice job. So uh, it's definitely unusual to see something done like that because normally people just put huge blocks on the frame and bolt the car to it. And uh, this one was actually done correctly, which is ever so rare to see. Um, they didn't elongate their wheel wells or anything, but they didn't put big wheels on it. They just had uh, little wheels on it. So it kind of looked strange with the little wheels, but uh, also they didn't put a lift kit on it. So now it's got a lift kit on it and drop spindles big A arms and big tires. Now we need to uh, make that in proportion. That's why I cut out the wheel well there and um, we'll fix that once the uh, bottom's painted. But uh, yeah, it's gonna be a great project. Great car.